Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Mr. Oakley. welcome back to some more World of Tanks, where today I am going to be playing some sneaky tanks in World of Tanks, I guess. Starting off with the ELC Even 90, probably one of the most sneakiest light tanks, or just tanks in general in the game. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has slightly better camo than the Manticore Even, or maybe somewhere around there, but nonetheless it is definitely... Uh, the best camo light tank at tier 8 uh, by quite some quite some margin especially when you set it up uh, as I will probably be with uh, the commander's vision system low, ex low noise exhaust system and coated optics to first of all get uh, get view range through the bushes uh, second of all get even better camo and third of all, just max out your view range as much as possible. I've got a fairly decent crew on here, and with uh, a food consumable, it, you do get quite good uh, camo and view range in this tank. As we start off on the Ghost Town map, on Assault though, so that's probably not good. I would have preferred the normal uh, version of this map, and I would have probably gone down uh, the bushes on the east side of the map. But nonetheless, I guess we have to deal with what we are given over here. So we are going to go up this hill, I think. It's not one of the fastest tanks. Well, it does go 70, but engine is so small and ground uh, resistances aren't, I think, that good. Or at least they don't feel good because going up here, you can just hear and feel the e engine struggle for power because, well, it's a tiny tank. It's like seven or nine tons or something, but then you also have to kind of power that and what well, just doesn't it doesn't work up here you definitely lose more uh more than you would normally and you know i think i'm just gonna sit here i think i've got enough camo to okay never mind i am absolutely gonna get destroyed now by the cobra luckily he is firing heat not high explosive rounds i thought i'd have enough but i guess he must just have really good <laughs> really good camo or i guess i was just underestimating him or overestimating this tank so uh good call to lose about two thirds of my hit points right at the start not really sure what to do i as i said i definitely would have preferred the other version of this map just a standard battle because on here i don't really have any bushes to sit into uh that would just basically guarantee my safety maybe the ELC actually went up there and that's what spotted me that would make more sense than the Cobra but still the Cobra probably could have spotted me if he had good enough view range I'm gonna go up here help these guys maybe spot some people down there uh, as there's not a lot of activity going on over here so that's where we need to push hopefully I am in frame I should have kind of checked that before okay we spotted the E50 somehow got some view range from him now the camo and the view range is a very good thing about this tank, but what about other aspects of it? As I said, the mobility is mixed. Going uphill, it's okay, but going downhill, uh, the top speed is definitely quite nice. Uh, the gun on this, a free round autoloader with 220 uh, damage with a 90mm, so it's okay. It's definitely not... Oh, it's definitely not... Uh, oh, I'm spotted once again. Come on, this couldn't have been a worse game to start off with uh, everyone just has more view range than i thought they would uh, but yes uh the gun it's okay i've got another setup for close range maps where i just kind of mostly focus on the gun uh, just to get the aim time down and the uh, and everything else so it's just so i can actually shoot uh but other than that you know you when you get up close or if you aim in it does go where you want it to go majority of the time i'm just thinking if there's any think anyone else that would have good view range that would be spotting me over here but i don't think so the elc has been spotted on the other side so that's probably who spotted me before i think we just need to stay here to be honest uh, and spot this guard because well uh, we'll need to go through this flag without dying because if we die then well we'll we'll, we'll die and we're already down uh, nearly 2,000 hit points, so that's not good. Uh, this T-54 could 
should probably go down, but you do never know what's back there, you know. There's so many tanks that haven't been spotted yet. I guess only like two or three, but still, uh, you know, could get shot from the town maybe. We actually, we actually are going to cap out in a second, so uh, this is going to be a very underwhelming game to start off with. Uh, as we are three, two, one seconds away from capping, and that's it. That's uh, the game won with 157 uh, experience. Uh, experience, not even that. 157 uh, view, uh, view uh, spotting damage, uh, which isn't what I wanted. So I think we'll go once again in this tank, and let's hope for a different. Uh, a better map this time and maybe an enemy team that don't have that much view range but have uh, the capabilities of stopping the cap when it's uh, right at the start and when they're all right next to it as well we actually got some sort of premium mission done okay first of all what I'm thinking there's a lot more light tanks now so it's going to be harder for use, uh, to use my camo and uh, view range as an advantage as I could before with only one but then again this again this map isn't really that kind of view range and camo specific you are most of the time at close ranges trying to shoot and scoot uh, before the enemy team get you so I guess we'll see how we do it <laughs> maybe we'll do more than 157 uh, spotting damage as you can see, the, the HWK-12, just way more engine power. We might have the better top speed, but uh, on this kind of ground, especially when you have to break through fences, fences and stuff, you are mostly limited to about 50 to 60 kilometers an hour uh, because the engine just can't get you up uh, that fast. And it's actually quite bad when you're running away from medium tanks as well, or even some heavy tanks uh, down uh, slope. Maybe not down slope, but... When they go down slope and you're trying to get away up slope or something, some of the time they, they can actually catch up to you and uh, instead of, you know, you running away being the light tank that you are, uh, you actually get caught by the medium tanks and rammed and of course this weighs basically nothing so you lose a lot of damage as I spot my first, oh I was going to shoot but I, I, he got away and I don't have enough gun depression. Maybe that's good. Maybe we, should, we shouldn't be shooting right at the start. We have to watch out for this brask over here. I'm actually going to pull back now because this is just a little bit unsafe for us. Especially with what uh, SMVCC57 is that? 67 at the back. Uh, could get one shot by all of them if they shot all at the same time. Uh, so let's not do that. I uh, still haven't showcased <laughs> any of the power of the tank, have I? Let's go up here. Uh, maybe, I don't know, get some shots in. Oh, a little bit of uh, lag over there. I'm not really sure what that's about. Some uh, A problem with the wargaming servers. Some things normally I am uh, quite fine on my ping. So hopefully that goes away. Uh, I'm seeing this lone KV-4 over here. And I'm going to switch to APCR rounds. Because the standard rounds only have 175. The AP, uh, APCR rounds have... 215 which is a, a quite a nice step up for a light tank uh let's go up here just see what we can spot from the middle i guess hopefully uh we don't get spotted by that lynx uh but he doesn't have that good view range so we should be safe over here I'm more worried about that elc eve 90 in those bushes over here so i'm just gonna scoot back slowly but surely seeing if i get spotted he probably, he probably isn't there anymore right because he would have been spotted by uh, the Patriot and the rest of the guys over there. Yeah, there he is over there. Okay, I'm gonna move out now. Still not getting spotted by him and still getting some sort of weird lag spikes, maybe because it's Sunday and a lot of people are playing and uh, more gaming has problems with the servers or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, oh, there's an ISU over there. Is he gonna spot me? No, he's not. I need to stay over here now. Oh, this tank is so low. Okay. I'm safe. I I have done some damage. I've done more than we did before. And we've spotted the ISU, so we actually get a nice spotting damage. Let's go out again. Get some more already up. Uh, many, many times over. Oh, is that tank? Uh, okay, I thought he was um, AFK, but he isn't. He was just trying to get shots in over to these guys over here. I'm going to pop up over here in these bushes. 
when you play as the ELC, you sometimes get into positions that you never thought uh, you would. Uh, like these bushes over here or something. You know, I've never sat in this bush ever, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but here we are now, sitting in this bush, spotting this TVP-100 as he, is, as he tries running away. I'm going to try and get a shot in there. I bounce. Did I get spotted? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. I get, another, I get in one shot. I fall back. Uh, okay. What do we do now? We could help the beach over there. Or we could help go after this TVP-100 and have him for our own over here. I'm still firing the APCR because I just want to do damage. <laughs> do, do more than I did in the first game because that was quite shocking, quite bad. Uh, so let's just go in over here after this TVP. I'm going to have to watch out for his uh, DPM. And especially when he starts shooting... Uh, high explosive rounds because that does like what 400 or something damage per shot so one shot there we go what two come on okay we're in cover we put in our full uh, clip in and now we just have to watch out hopefully the SMV uh, doesn't get me we are reloading 17 seconds left this does have quite a long reload it does have to kind of be balanced like that uh, hopefully someone gets him. Or we reload in time. Hopefully one, one or the other. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. I think we're going to get him. Are we? Yeah, there we go. We're getting one shot, two shots. We get the, uh, one kill. You know what? We'll take that. 1,700 damage, 900 spotting. For this map, for this tank, you know, it's okay, I, I definitely could have done more, but I'm definitely happy with that over the first game. Definitely haven't uh, showed, uh, showcased the the camo abilities, which this video is about, but maybe uh, we survived because maybe we would have been spotted in some situations that we didn't, I'm not sure. But after that, let's switch things up a bit and let's not just play light tank after light tank, which of course they have the best. Uh, camo in the game as you can see 51.57 on my EOC for 90 let's switch things up to a Stritzvong S1 uh, would have to retrain my crew for some reason I'm not really sure why as I can't which is nice uh, not really sure oh, okay there we go let's just do that 300 why not yes so 49.57 that is still very nice for a TD and actually better uh, camo whilst firing I'm pretty sure uh, a little bit less on the move of course because it doesn't have doesn't get that light tank bonus but still 31 uh, percent whilst moving is definitely decent and I like to play this tank with vents binoculars and a turbo actually let's switch to my food consumable as this is a premium tank so why not uh, get a little bit more out of it why do I use vents? Makes everything better. Binoculars, of course, increase your view range. And turbo uh, makes you go faster out and inside the siege mode, I'm pretty sure. Uh, which is a good thing about this tank. Because it's uh, engine power, again, isn't that good. It does do 50 forwards, 45 backwards. But its engine power definitely stops it from being as mobile as the STRV 103O and 103B, the tier 9 and tier 10, respectively. So, okay, on Mannerheim line, definitely a better map suited for this tank. But now, where do we want to go? Do we want to sit here, get some shots in over there, or do we want to go further up and sit at this kind of B5 place? Uh, I'm going to go over there, see if we can get shots in from there. Definitely not uh, getting worried about getting spotted by him, as the uh, TVP in front of me did. But me with the better camo and... Um, and, uh, yeah, better camo, I guess. Uh, all of that uh, allowed me to stay unspotted. And this gun, which is very nice, 105mm, allows me to quickly switch into the siege mode and pick up one kill try and get pick up a second kill but of course the impenetrable wheels of the wheeled light tanks uh stop me from doing anything to that ebr 75 fl10 i'm gonna put a blind shot in did that go in i'm not really sure i definitely want to take that guy out but i definitely would want to take out the other light tank as well is he still 
Well, I could actually still shoot him. I thought he was uh, out of range, but I guess not. So, I guess we just sit here, hope that our light tanks are going to do something. I guess I can put in a couple blind shots in over here. Uh, move after them though, so <laughs> that I don't get shot by an SU-103 at uh, PM because I definitely don't want to be losing half my hit points. Oh, he's definitely, someone's over there definitely because the wreck of the TVP-100 is moving, so not really sure who, who's over there, but someone's over there. Let's move up over here, try and get shots into these guys now. Hopefully if I line myself up with this bush over here, I should be safe from getting spotted and I can use my pretty decent 2800 DPM uh, to start going to town on this Caliban and CC1 Mark II. If we can get some shots in, that was a bit too uh, high. Still got his turret, I'm pretty sure, which was facing me, so that definitely wouldn't have been able to go through. Uh, again, with this tank, it's good, but it does depend if uh, on your allies not pushing like this guy is, and on your enemies pushing out in the open and kind of are you getting shots in like that, because otherwise, sometimes it's just basically camping at the back, not doing anything, putting in two free shots, and that's basically it for the round. So let's move up, not get caught behind our teammates. I'm going to go up here, or am I? Am I going to go up there? I'm going to go over here. Oh, get that G-Saw maybe, who has gone the other way, so I can't get him anymore. Okay, I definitely, <laughs> next next day, next game, I definitely should play some tanks that are more active at the front. Uh, maybe some assault tanks. Uh, that, that would definitely be a good idea, so let, I'm, I'm probably going to do that uh, next week. Assault tanks in World of Tanks. What could that be? I'm not really sure some heavy tanks, some good, well-armoured uh, tank destroyers. I guess we'll see next week what I think of. Is is that EBR still here? I guess we're going to see in a second. I don't think he is because I would have spotted him by now. So let's just keep on moving up. Okay, so moving up here, I'm going to try and get the back of this SU-130PM. I'm definitely going to get shot over here. Uh, but uh, I kind of want to do some damage, so I don't really care. And he's just shot now, so we're going to be equal on reload now, I'm pretty sure. I just hope that he doesn't uh, set me on fire, because I don't have a fire extinguisher. Which he doesn't. There we go, and I have the reload on him now, so let's just push up now. Uh, got a renegade on my side. Okay, we're safe there. Uh, let's switch over here. Is the renegade there? No, he is. I don't have any shots on him. I do have shots on this guy, though which we miss. Let's just go after the Renegade now. See if we can do anything to him uh, as he is hiding behind a rock. Oh, he's out in the open for everyone over there. How is he still alive? That's the question I'm asking. And I think the EBR's probably up there somewhere. Uh, am I going to be able to put in any more shots? Maybe one if I get lucky, if this Progetto doesn't move back. There we go. Okay, at least we did something. Definitely not doing the best in these live gameplay videos, but they are fun to record, so I'm, so I'm going to keep on doing them. Uh, as we pick up, you know, nearly 2,000 combined, definitely could have been better in this tank. Definitely, uh, for, for a long time, this actually had my damage record in this tank, so, you know, kind of shocking that we didn't even do 2,000 over there. But for the final tank, we are going to switch back to light tanks and move into probably one of my favourite light tanks back in the day, which they afterwards ruined. Uh, it is, of course, the AMX EOC. Oh, AMX EOC? Yeah, AMX EOC BIS. My, my only tank that I have three marks of excellence on. Uh, and not really sure. 52% uh, percent, uh, camo. And I'm going to switch up to the 90mm. Let's just have some fun in this tank. I switched over recently to that other one just to kind of see if it's if it plays any better but it really doesn't so let's go okay so definitely not a map for this tank once again uh as yes yeah, so let's just switch to apcr straight away they absolutely ruined this tank you know those couple years ago it used to be such a good tank faster more mobile better reload better gun char characteristics it was basically better in every single regard had less health but they only buffed that they actually nerfed it first uh, to like 340 or something so you can get shot one shot pretty much every single time 
by every single 122 millimeter gun which was uh, definitely not the best change but then they moved it up to 490 that is right now uh, so it's a little bit better but still uh, it's just so slow compared to what it used to be it's just so underwhelming but I still have a go in it because it is a fun tank to play it reminds me of the of the fun I had back in the day and with the free marks it's a pretty funny story that I probably said in a couple videos now I got the free marks in a game that I did 500 combined after uh, the nerf of the light tanks which uh, is funny I, I, you know, third mark of excellence I was better than 95% of players with 500 combined so yes okay not really sure why we haven't spotted anyone yet I'm not even sure what equipment I use over here I think mostly to improve the view range maybe the gun a bit as well uh, kind of surprised I haven't seen anyone over here yet I mean there's only a couple of tanks that could be over here but I mean I thought there would be someone uh, so right, let's push because we are getting absolutely slaughtered on the other side uh, so let's go in hopefully spot someone maybe some artillery getting some good fun shots in uh, but there is literally no one here so I'm really confused I'm really scared that I'm gonna drive into someone over there like that flak panzer I'm pretty sure that's what they call it aim 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 fire miss okay fall back that's basically what the ELC is uh, used to be a little bit better on the gun handling but they did have to nerf it because it was kind of OP uh, am I going to do better on the move? Slow down a bit, put in a good shot. It's just so nice to have that amount of uh, alpha damage at such a low tier. You know, 240. Oh, okay, I was thought I'd get that griller. 240 at tier 5 for a light tank. That is definitely juicy. And we definitely don't have... Uh, we are definitely, uh, luck definitely isn't on our side today as once again we are absolutely just getting destroyed on the other side. I kind of didn't really do the best of pushes over here, I'm not really sure what was over there. Oh, and we are probably dead now as the bishop tracks us and we don't have a repair crew on this, I guess, for whatever reason. Uh, okay, well, we're definitely not doing too well, are we? So what can we do? Probably not much. Can we put like, oh, are we gonna die there? No, we're not, but I mean, you can see the aim time on this, it's tragic. We actually blow up that, um, that gorilla for uh, somehow. We're actually close to capping. Not really sure if they're gonna let us, I doubt it. Let's just commit to this cap though, uh, cap though even. Uh, if we die, we die. We're gonna die anyways. Five, four, we're gonna die. Four seconds. Oh, if that, uh, if that Cromwell that was at the back would have uh, come on, uh, come on in the cap with us, we actually would have won that somehow. But we didn't. Uh, I'm probably going to put another game in this tank. See if we can do any better. Definitely not doing too well in these sneaky tanks today, as we definitely haven't been on the right maps for them. Because if you do get on the right map, you can just do uh, do circles around your opponents without them even knowing that you're there. This is just a bad example of maps uh, uh, for 4D's tank. So let's hope that for the next round in the ELC AMX, as it used to be called, we get on a slightly better map. And there we go. We we do. This definitely is more light tank friendly than the tank, uh, the, the, tank the map before. Um, okay, tier 6 matchup, you know, this tank used to be fun in tier 8 matchups, you had so much penetration, but now 150 on the premium rounds used to be something like 220, I think, or definitely somewhere around 200. So it used to be a lot more, and I'm pretty sure the regular rounds were like 150, 170, if I remember correctly. Maybe not that high, but they were definitely a lot better than they are now. The high explosive rounds, I'm pretty sure they're pretty much similar. Maybe they had a bit more there, they're probably the same, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to go head into the center of the map hopefully uh, get some shots in hopefully get some uh, spots out with uh, with all the other light tanks over there I seem to get on the better light tank maps when there's more light tanks in the game and I don't have as much freedom to play around with than in the other other games so that's uh, a shame 
I've got to go over here. I've actually got to go over here, protect the CLC, see what's he doing. He's going quite mad. I spot the cave you are, there you go. Don't normally spot uh, people out over here, but oh, the bad reload, okay. Bad reload, bad aiming even. Uh, can't we put in a shot? Oh, oh, we get spotted right at the moment. Oh, the Basato puts a huge shot into us for 380. That is absolutely tragic. And what is this tank doing? Is there no one here to help me? There's an ELC behind him and he's just going out in the open. There's a Cromwell right in front of me and I'm pretty sure I'm dead over there because the Cromwell is absolutely asleep. I'm not really sure what he's doing, but well, I guess that's it for my game. Uh, definitely, you could, definitely didn't go to plan today. Hopefully next week, uh, some better luck with the assault tanks. Probably, you know, some heavy tanks, some tank destroyers. I guess we'll, I'll see what I'll pick next week. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.